Hafiz Abdul Rahman. I'm a lecturer at Public University in Kenya. I deliver lectures in computing and informatics. In our last lesson, we talked about uh, format specifier. Basically, we talked about uh, uh, around five format specifier for both an input and an output uh, uh, device. So we talked about uh, that a format specifier actually the syntax is writing up a percentage D or percentage with a letter. So we discuss about a percentage D, percentage C, percentage uh, F, and percentage S, meaning up that the output variable can be actually formatted according to different type of data type. Today we are starting up a new uh, lesson, and this particular lesson we are going to answer ourselves what are the input and output statement and to take us in that particular journey we are going uh, to uh, answer a few questions what is an input output statement what are the types of an input output function and finally we are going to see what is the syntax of an input output statement so let us start uh, with what is actually uh, an input and output uh, statement onto that particular node. We can see that an input output statement actually uh, stores value into memory. So when uh, a variable stores value into memory, we call it an input operator. So that is what we call up uh, an input operator. So an input operator will be a statement that stores values into memory. And when you have stored a value into memory, and then now you want to execute that particular program. So when you execute that particular program, that particular value which is there in memory once it is displayed. Once it is displayed to a user is what we, uh, we are, uh, that's what we say it is an output. It is an output operator. It's an output operator. So basically an input output operator it is a value that it is stored into memory and when it is stored into memory we call it an input operator and when uh, it is that particular program is executed then we call it and displayed into uh, the user we call it uh, as the output operator so basically they are uh, the most common input output operators which we know about today they are basically found as we talked about earlier where are they found they are found into what you call the standard input output library so we have what you call the standard input output library and the standard input output library in C Basically, it is found in into the preprocessor hash include standard input output dot h file. So the standard input output uh, dot h file uh, basically uh, has got two. We have got the input. function and here we have got the output function so basically when we're talking about the input function we are talking about the function which is called scan f and when we are talking about 
the output function we are talking about the function which is called the printf so let's see one by one what are their syntax so the scanf as we have seen before <coughs> the syntax basically here we'll have the format specifier into quotes and then here basically <coughs> we'll have a uh, what you call a an ampersand and a variable and then we terminate so this will be the syntax of an input function or what you call up a, a scan f for example for the scan f we can say scan f and the formal specifier here should be into double quotes can be percentage d and then maybe we are talking about a variable called age so this will capture the age which a user is being told and store it into memory let's see now what is the syntax of a print f a syntax of printf actually it is printf and then we have format specifiers and then we have variable name without the ampersand sign for example we can have printf we are saying percentage d age this one actually will return or print the age when the computer it is executed so basically uh, that is about it so let's see uh, here how actually we can implement the same using up uh, the same scenario so here basically what are we having here we are having up the structure of c and here we have included the input output uh, library file so if you want to write up a program that will make up a user to enter his age and then displaying using up the input output function we can declare a variable of data type integer called age and then we want to tell up that particular user using up a print f statement to do what uh, to enter so we are saying enter your age so this will be a prompt to tell up a user to enter their age after entering their age we want to use up a scan f To capture that particular age and to do that basically we have to use a format specifier and here our, sp uh, our sp format specifier uh, as we have learned in our last lesson it is what it is uh, a decimal I mean it is an integer so we are using up a, a format specifier uh, to capture integers and then here we, we have to put up the syntax we say you have to put up a comma and then an ampersand age so this particular statement basically is going to capture uh, the age of uh, that particular person and then we want to display now so using up a print f and in that particular print f basically what do you want to display so again here we have to have a format specifiers and have to be in court so I want it first of all to be on the next line so uh, we are using up a, a, a new line feed there and then we say 
your age is and what do you have that particular uh, we have to have uh, a format specifier and our format specifier it is actually percentage D so your age is and then we give that particular percentage D and then we are going to put up the variable name there so basically when we run this particular program it's supposed to give us uh, to tell us to enter our age after entering our age it's going to return the words your age is and then give us our age so let's run this particular program and see what happens yes there is an error here and it's a very simple error we have written print instead of print f so we'll put up an f there let's execute so we can see basically here we are asked what is your age if I put up an age at 25 it returns to me your age is actually 25 so basically that comes to the end of our lesson today and in our next lesson we are going to discuss what are uh, data types and um, don't forget to subscribe for new videos in our next uh, le lesson thank you very much mm -hmm.